My name is Matthew Side. Um, I'm a former, believe it or not, international table tennis player. I was a British number one for 10 years and uh, three times Commonwealth champion. Um, after finishing my table tennis career and doing a degree at Oxford in philosophy, politics and economics, I became a journalist. I write a couple of columns a week uh, for the Times newspaper in London um, and I also write books. My first was called Bounce, which was about the science of success. And my new one is called Black Box Thinking. The basic concept sounds very simple, learning from our mistakes, but I argue in the book that this is an idea that has huge urgency in the world today. And we can think about it to a certain extent by just reflecting on the way that science operates. Scientists create theories, and these theories make testable predictions, and when the theories fail, it provides the impetus to adapt the theories. This is how they evolve and progress. I think the problem in the world today is we don't apply that method to our social institutions, to our political institutions, and to our own lives. And that's why we need more black box thinking. A great example of black box thinking is aviation. And that is where the term, the title of the book comes from. What happens in aviation when there's a mistake? Take the most catastrophic type of mistake, an accident. There are two indestructible black boxes which are excavated and the accident investigation branch analyzes what they say. One of the boxes records ambient sounds and conversations in the cockpit. The other one records all of the information sent to the onboard computers. So they excavate what went wrong and reform procedures, ergonomic design of the cockpit, and all sorts of other things to make sure the same kind of mistake doesn't happen again. Through that method, aviation has created an extraordinary safety record. Last year, amongst the major airlines, there was one accident per 8.3 million takeoffs. That isn't because they're talented, it's not because they're super smart, it's because of a method. Just compare that with healthcare, where there are 400,000 avoidable deaths every year in American hospitals alone. That isn't because surgeons, nurses, clinicians don't care about their patients, it's because they don't learn from their mistakes. They spin them, they cover them up partly because they're worried about litigation, but mainly because people find it difficult to confront and learn from their mistakes. The reason it's so important to learn from our mistakes is because in a complex world, mistakes are inevitable. We're never gonna have the perfect model, theory, set of procedures or behaviors, and therefore we have to systematically analyze the gap between what we wanted to happen and what actually did happen and systematically try to close that gap. If we don't do that, we condemn ourselves forever to really suboptimal outcomes. There are two vital things in order to learn from our mistakes. One is having the right system and the other is the right mindset. Let's just talk about the second one briefly. What is the right mindset? Well, it's all too easy when we ha make a mistake ourselves, either to blame others or to say it wasn't really a mistake. So surgeons, for example, who inadvertently kill somebody in an operating theater are inclined to say, well, there were complications. It was a unique case. There's no point going all over it again. In other words, they try and spin the mistake into what was really just a complication. That makes it much more difficult to engage with what happened and learn from it. And this kind of linguistic subterfuge is something we're all very familiar with and it is very well associated with people not capable of learning from their mistakes. <laughs>